Welcome to Komatsu's Mind Expo 2021 virtual event right here in Las Vegas. I'm Madison Alexander, your host. We're coming to you live from the Komatsu truck bed studio, which is especially cool because this segment is about this truck. Haulage is one area where the technical and sustainability advances are coming very quickly, and the industry is right on the edge of making significant impacts. So to talk about why this truck is unique and why it's being featured at the show, I want to bring in our very own correspondent, Natalia Bilbao. Hi, Natalia. Hi, Madison. Reducing carbon emissions is a priority in the mining industry, and everyone is looking at many ways to do it. For a truck like this, the key is the power source. All trucks today are powered by diesel engines. Now, while these engines are getting cleaner and more efficient, there are more sustainable alternatives coming, Madison. Excellent, so what are some of these alternatives that are in the pipeline? Well, this truck has a pantograph mounted at the front so it can run on electricity on portions of its route. It's especially helpful on inclines when you need more power. There's a role for battery power in haulage and that's coming very soon. In fact, this development truck is equipped with battery power instead of a diesel engine. Now in the future, power could come from diesel engines and electricity from a pantograph, or battery power with a pantograph, or just battery power, or hydrogen fuel, cells, or, or something that doesn't even exist yet, Madison. Wow, wow, that sounds uh, like a major challenge. You're right, Madison, it is. A truck like this is so well built, it can last 20 years or more. And with propulsion technology evolving so rapidly, mine operators are concerned about investing in a truck that could be obsolete when the next evolution in power technology goes mainstream. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a big challenge for sure. But I'm happy that we're developing solutions. Yes, this very truck is a development platform for future power agnostic haulage. Now to learn more about what that means for mining companies, earlier my colleague Julie Mack talked with Komatsu Vice President of North America Engineering and Development, Dan Van Cannon. Well, hi Dan and welcome to the Komatsu booth. With power options for haulage evolving so quickly, mining companies are concerned about investing in trucks they may need now or in the near future. How does this truck offer a solution to this? Well, Julie, the idea that we're developing is that you can upgrade the power source over time. It may begin as traditional life with the diesel engine, then you may add a pantograph system like on this truck for supplemental electric power on hills and set haul routes. When battery technology meets the needs of your operation, you can replace that diesel engine with the battery system. Down the road, you can convert to hydrogen fuel cell, or whatever the future brings to the industry. The truck adapts as power technology evolves. So this truck is ready for what comes power-wise to give mining companies confidence in their future fleet planning. It sounds really complex to have to change out so much of the machine. It's not easy, Julie, but at Komatsu, our trucks have a few things that make it much easier. Our trucks have been designed around electric drives since the 1960s. So you really just need to change the power source. You keep the chassis and the electric drivetrain. And we design our trucks with an engine module that can be disconnected and slid out the front of the machine for easier and faster repair, overhaul, and replacement. Our engineers said, what if we use that same modularity concept to upgrade the power source? This vehicle is where we're working out the details on how to do this efficiently, how to build the trucks to be ready for these conversions. Wow, Dan, this is really an interesting approach to a tough problem. Well, thanks, Dan, so much for taking us through this. It was my pleasure, Julie, thank you. So, Natalia, can mining companies actually buy this truck today? Not yet, Madison, it is still in the development stages, and this truck is to show where Kamasu sees the future of haulage. The first step was developing the truck to run on batteries and trolley. The next step is ensuring these systems and trucks perform to the high expectations of Komatsu and, of course, our customers. And in developing this interchangeable concept, Komatsu isn't going at this alone. We've recently announced some impressive partners. That's right, Madison. Komatsu wants to ensure that this power agnostic concept is in step with how mining companies are addressing their sustainability efforts. So we created the Komatsu Greenhouse Gas Alliance with several customers, including Rio Tinto, BHP, Anglo-American, Vale, Codelco, and Boliden. All right, so what is this GHG Alliance going to be working on? 
Well, the Alliance will work with Kamasi to provide site data, analysis, and feedback as the truck evolves. But these new technologies have a decent way to go in terms of industry standards, logistics, and legislation. And the GHG Alliance will also be working on these issues, Madison. Komatsu has worked to reduce greenhouse gas emissions for customers for decades with products such as electric drive haul trucks and electric power shovels and technologies like regenerative energy storage capabilities as well as fuel saver programs. That's right, Madison, and the company has committed to minimizing environmental impact, targeting a 50% reduction in CO2 emissions from use of its products by 2030 compared to 2010 levels. Trucks like this will be a major component of that effort, Madison. Well, the future of haulage isn't just sustainability, of course, it's also data and it's also automation. And you know what, there's been a lot of progress in this area with Komatsu. Yes, Komatsu introduced its innovative autonomous haulage vehicle in 2016 as a research and development platform. Its technology is already paying off in mines across the world. In technology developments like this truck and in the Komatsu Front Runner Autonomous Haulage System, or AHS system. With that Front Runner AHS, you can convert haul trucks and make them autonomous. And you know what? It's already out there. In fact, there will be up to 400 Komatsu Autonomous Haul Trucks running in 13 sites in four countries by the end of the year. Together, they will have moved more than 4 billion tons of material. Yes, there are bottom line benefits to autonomous haulage, but the key is helping mines on their journey to zero harm for operators. Moving people offsite isolates them from the direct risk associated with the operation of heavy equipment. Plus the trucks take optimal routes and more easily position themselves for loading and unloading medicine. Well, thank you so much, Natalia, for helping show where Komatsu sees the future of haulage. Now, to all of you out there, you can learn more about the Front Runner Autonomous Haulage System on the Komatsu Virtual Mine Expo site. Because the path forward on haulage is not the same for every operation, which is why we want you to connect with the Komatsu experts to talk about how we can help you on your path towards a safer, more sustainable, more efficient operation. There is a lot to see at Komatsu's Mine Expo virtual event, and here as well, live from Las Vegas. So we thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.